Hello and welcome to your homemaker leader lesson, entertaining children. I hope that most of you just finished finished watching the free the kids video. If you did not, I'm going to ask your facilitator to pause this video and go to the link. I think it's a great video to start off our lesson. So the materials that you should have in front of you include the facilitator's guide, next the entertaining children publication, the entertaining children addendum, which simply has two links to um, two videos that really drive um, some great points, uh, including the video you just watched. And then finally, you may or may not have a copy of the PowerPoint in front of you. This was an optional document. So the learning objectives for this lesson are to first identify steps to determine fun learning activities. Second, to create a five-day activity routine with some additional activities. And third, we want to provide you with some free digital resources um, that you can have <clears throat> access to. So the first thing that I want to say is that it is not your job to constantly entertain the children in your life. Uh, it's really important to know that boredom is a good thing. And that's the first thing that I want to talk about. The era that we're living in, the era of technology, um, has created an overwhelming amount of information and distractions, which reduces attention. So taking a break until the point of boredom um, can actually be a good thing. It can indicate that an overloaded brain is relaxing. Boredom also increases creativity by providing an opportunity um, to reflect and spend time wondering and daydreaming, um, doing things that kids' minds were meant to do. One study um, shows us that useful ideas are more likely discovered when conducting mundane tasks, suggesting that we think in different ways in the absence of external stimulation. Um, so the benefits of boredom include improved mental health, increased creativity, um, a catalyst for novelty, and increased self-control skills. Um, in other words, it is only when we are dissatisfied with the status quo that new ideas and practices are established. Um, so learning to endure boredom er early in life is a great preparation for developing self-control skills, regulating one's thoughts, emotions, and actions. So please remember this um, when it comes to the little ones in your life. This is something that I personally need to remember um, when my little one at home tells me that he is bored. Um, it's good for me to remember that it's okay if he's not constantly um, engaged in some sort of activity. But it's also okay to be intentional with planning activities for them. And so that's what we want to do with this lesson. We want to give you some practical ideas of ways that you can plan entertainment with the children in your life. Um, so first, we have uh, three steps uh, to help you plan some activities. It doesn't have to take a lot of money, and it actually can all start with a list. So step one, um, we want you to sit down uh, with this child, whoever it is in your life, um, and make a list of activities that they enjoy. So sit down and ask them what their favorite activity is. What do they enjoy doing? 
Step two, we want to make sure that you write these on paper. Uh, so when there comes a time of them saying, I'm so bored, you can quickly hand them the list of things that they told you they enjoy doing. Um, it's also helpful for you to refer to it yourself. Step three, help them brainstorm activities by categories. Um, so maybe do this by room by room in your home. Um, what activities do they enjoy doing indoors? Um, doing things in the family room may look different than activities um, that they do in the kitchen. So maybe they like building forts in the living room. Whereas they can cook or do a science experiment in the kitchen. Um, this is going to be helpful for you um, to think of ideas that they like to do. So in my home, our dining room is where my son likes to play school. Um, and it's also where he likes to do Play-Doh, uh, play with kinetic sand, um, that's the room that we do arts and crafts in. Um, if it's something that's a little bit more messy, then we are fortunate enough to move into the kitchen area. Um, our dining room has carpet, so that's why I say we move into the kitchen where we have hardwood there. If it gets really messy, um, it's I'd rather it make a mess there on the hardwood than on the carpet. Um, but teaching your child to brainstorm is an important skill. So brainstorming can be helpful when they begin fourth grade writing. Um, it also is teaching them to wonder their brains um, can be creative. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of effort to help them. Once you've created a list of activities children enjoy doing, create a plan for the week. So here we're showing you how to create a five-day plan. But if you're needing to just plan for maybe three days, um, you can adjust to your needs. But specifically for this lesson, we do want to teach you how to create a five-day plan. So here we have an example of a five-day plan we've created. Um, and you'll notice that we have... Um, put a creative spin on each day of the week. So for example, we have a move Monday. Um, it says bundle up and get outside. We are approaching the warmer months, so you may not have to bundle them up, but there are so many things that you could plan to do outside if it's a good, if it's the weather permits. So you could do a treasure hunt. You could ride bikes. You could go for a walk in the woods, um, a story walk. Um, you could, the local libraries often put on these story walks um, or sometimes even your local extension office. Um, circle back home for a book or nature show. Um, are you pirates on the open sea searching for lost treasure or maybe you're a mermaid? Um, there are so many creative things that we can do outside. Um, do they have a play set that they could pretend is a pirate ship? Uh, just think of ways that you can be creative with what you have available to you. We all have different means uh, financially, um, as well as access to different things in our own counties. Uh, so we wanted to provide you with practical things you could do. Um, then for the second day of the week, we have a tune down Tuesday. Maybe it's a rainy day or maybe it's cold weather or maybe someone's just not feeling well. Um, but this is a good day to just stay in. So tune down Tuesdays, you could listen to music and dance, um, the, those activities are very pajama conducive. So you don't even have to put on real clothes if you don't want to. Sometimes days like this are just necessary. Um, staying in pajamas all day for reading or maybe a movie marathon is fun in itself. You could pop some popcorn and pretend your living room is a movie theater. Next, we have 
Worldwide Wednesday Olympics. Now, you don't have to do this theme, um, but this is a really fun idea. You could spend the day coming up with and executing indoor challenges for your living room. Um, maybe you could come up with some uh, fun awards for your winners. Awards could be baked goods or maybe even popsicles, or you could go out for some ice cream. Thinking of ways to just make everyday fun um, will help engage your children and spark creativity in their minds. Next, we have Theatrical Thursday. Um, you could have your child, right, direct or star in a home video. I think that home videos were once um, more of a popular thing when we had video cameras. Thankfully, now many of us um, have our phones that have a video and camera option. But this makes for an amazing keepsake that you can watch for years to come. Um, home videos are truly the best. Um, make the filming process an activity. <clears throat> Next, we have Fun Day Friday. So do you know how many children are unfamiliar with board and card games? Probably more than you could even imagine. In a world of technology, this is an opportunity for you to teach them some of your favorite games or maybe explore a new game. Um, Fun Day Friday could also include Tickle fights, pillow fights. It could in include video games, um, but try to include some classics that you enjoyed growing up. Um, we do live in a world full of technology, and I think it's so important for us to really get back to some of the basics. Now, remember, your plan is going to look different from others. This plan is all based um, on what your children and what you enjoy. So now I want you all to pause this video and take some time to simply discuss um, activities that you enjoyed as a child. Are these activities and memories something that you could recreate with the children in your life? Um, if you have time today, you can create a five-day plan for ideas of things you could do with the little ones in your life. If you don't create a five-day plan today, I think it would be beneficial for you to create a five-day plan when you do present this lesson to your clubs. Um, but today, I do want your facilitator to pause the video and have you all discuss some memories or activities you did growing up as a child um, and discuss whether or not these could be memories that you could recreate um, or create something similar. So I hope that you all I hope that you all had a good discussion. Um, it's always fun to hear what other people did growing up. It always helps spark ideas for me. Um, but before we wrap up, I do want to share some fun and educational resources uh, that are free. Uh, sometimes we just need some other ideas. First, Go Noodle on YouTube. These are great fun videos that you could show to your child. Um, sometimes we, technology is great. We don't um, want to say that we never use it, um, but go noodle on YouTube. Um, you can also do a virtual field trip to the Cincinnati Zoo. Um, if you just Google that, um, online, you should be able to find doing a virtual field trip um, Mo Williams Lunch Doodles. Uh, this is a free online drawing session. Again, some of this takes a little bit of searching online, but I'm sure that your agent um, could help you find it. Do an indoor outdoor scavenger hunt. There's many um, templates, free templates online uh, for ideas of scavenger hunts that you could do. 
FaceTime dates with friends and family. We live in the era of technology, as I said. Um, we can take advantage of it, talk with family members or friends who live far away that maybe your the children in your life haven't gotten to know very well. Make greeting cards for friends, family, or strangers. I think this could be a great idea for some VSU hours <laughs> um, that you could turn in. Uh, think about people you know who are struggling. Think about times that you yourself have received a card from a child. There is truly something so special about receiving a card or a picture from a child. And this is something that is very low cost. All you need um, is some paper and crowns, uh, markers, and this could be a really good activity that takes up a little bit of time and it's going to really make someone's day. Next, build forts inside or outside. Allow siblings to have sleepovers or host a home improvement show to showcase their awesome fort. Um, cooking or food prep with kids. Um, anytime you can get kids in the kitchen, they are going to learn so much. And I did want to make a plug for our Chop Chop magazine. Now, I will say I know that sometimes uh, your extension office will have these available. Sometimes we give them away and we have a lull in our um, how much we have. So ask your agent if they have any available. Um, if not, I'm sure that there are recipe cards, but there are so many ideas in these magazines of recipes for um, younger children. And I even enjoy the recipes because sometimes I just need something simple um, to make. So ask for about those chop chops at your local extension office. Involve kids in a daily chore. A daily chore can help keep them organized and remind them the importance of contributing. Some kids really enjoy um, helping out. This is also an opportunity for you to teach them important skills. Um, now, uh, if you need more ideas, maybe for a rainy day. PBS Kids is a wonderful animated, colorful site. Um, they even have math problems. They have so many educational and fun uh, opportunities. Duck Duck Moose um, is also another great site. It offers free interactive apps for younger audiences. Um, Go Noodle. I mentioned before, it's a free online resource, has more than 300 dance and yoga videos aimed at keeping young minds active. National Geographic Kids. Um, this is, um, you can find this online. Um, there's videos and games and books. Children can learn many topics like how to reduce your carbon footprint, preserving um, habitats for their favorite animals. Um, there also are quizzes um, and Mad Libs fill in the blanks that they can do. Um, Mad Libs are really fun. Mad Libs in general are just a lot of fun. You could always Google uh, free Mad Libs for children. Um, let's see. Uh, the Khan Academy is a nonprofit organization offering math, science, arts, and humanities curriculum, um, even test prep courses for older students. So you'll find classes on uh, computers, finance, animation, and even social and emotional learning. So this is great for the older audience. Uh, Duolingo is a free language learning app and uh, offers um, instruction in 23 different languages. Um, and then the Smithsonian offers the Smithsonian Institution offers many online resources, including Sioux Animal Cams, musical recordings, geography from space, meteorology, and more. Um, so 
best of all, the site has plenty of games um, that are educational and engaging. So anytime that you can find a way to make technology educational, uh, that is a benefit. Now, uh, finally, I do want to go over the evaluation. Um, so I, it always helps us whenever you can fill out the evaluation. It is going to ask your level of understanding uh, from before the program and then after the program. Um, if you have any questions uh, filling out the evaluation, I'm sure your agent would be happy if you could, happy to help you. Um, I hope that you all enjoyed today. So you all did see the video that I showed uh, or that we showed you at the beginning. I think that it is a, such a powerful video that reminds us just how important it is to get kids outside. In the era of technology, we are seeing less and less time spent outside. There is another great video um, on your addendum, the scientific benefits of boredom. That video is seven minutes long. If you want to watch it today, um, you can go on and find that link. It's seven minutes. Otherwise, um, you could look these up on YouTube um, and show them to your club. So I hope that you all feel equipped to come up with some great activities um, with the children in your lives. And I hope that you are reminded that it doesn't take um, a lot of money. Uh, there's so many ways and free resources out there, but so many ways that you can help them expand their minds and create long lasting memories with them. Um, thank you all so much. And that is all that we have for today.